Il y a un comité sérieux, bien organisé et avec des moyens pratiquement illimités. D'après vous, il y a un complot international euh, Oui, il y a un complot international comprenant trois variétés de gens travaillant ensemble. Alors, Essayez de me dire qui sont eux. C'est eux. En fait, en fait, il y a plusieurs groupes différents, plein d'initiales différentes. C'est IA, FBI, FM, FMI, vous en avez plein. C'est eux. Mais au fond, ce sont deux groupes qui s'opposent dans la même faction. Lesquels Lesquels ah, Le premier. Le premier. Pardon. Il est composé des familles les plus riches du pays. Leur but, c'est le maintien de la stabilité. Enfin, c'est leur but officiel. Et l'autre groupe, c'est ce qu'Eisenhower appelait le complexe industriel ou militaire. Eux, ils veulent maintenir l'instabilité et le mot est faible. Si je comprends bien, le premier groupe est en guerre contre l'autre bah, groupe. Euh, oui, à un certain niveau, ils sont en guerre. Mais à d'autres niveaux, c'est le même groupe. C'est terrifiant, c'est bonnet blanc et blanc bonnet. Alors, guerre froide, guerre chaude, pour eux, tout est bon. On lance là, le monde. Jerry, quoi respirez. D'accord. Une branche des services secrets que le gouvernement ne contrôle pas et qui euh, agissent, euh, agissent par ambition, s'ils arrivent à provoquer un tel désordre en Europe. Ensuite, il y a un certain nombre de gens du tiers-monde qui pensent que le néocolonialisme européen est pire que l'ancien colonialisme européen et qui ne peut être arrêté qu'en détruisant l'Europe. Et enfin, il y a un certain nombre d'Européens qui sont dégoûtés d'Europe, de, euh, qui sont dégoûtés de leur système social, ça fait donc un troisième élément. Tout cela fait une organisation que j'ai appelée pour simplifier un terror, qui s'appelle certainement pas un terror. Mai 68 participait de ce plan général de renversement de l'Occident. Exactement. Et ça a été un succès remarquable. C'était vraiment très bruyant. Un succès, vous trouvez Ah oui, tout de même. Désorganiser en particulier un grand pays comme la France, il y aura d'autres choses de ce genre mieux organisées, mais enfin, c'est un succès remarquable. En fait, c'est réellement une nouvelle forme de guerre. La France a subi plus de dommages euh, que pendant huit jours d'une guerre normale, et ceci réellement, avec tellement peu de moyens, c'est très remarquable. Enfin, euh, la théorie que vous développez là euh, ne correspond pas aux guerres, à toutes les publications qu'on a, qu a pu lire sur mai 68 qui parlaient plutôt d'un mouvement spontané. Oui, euh, ces publications négligent simplement un fait élémentaire, c'est que les centres maoïstes de Bruxelles fournissaient un mouvement à un milliard de francs par jour. À part ça, c'était spontané. C'est quoi ce centre maoïste de Bruxelles Eh bien, c'est une boutique de l'interterror. De Gaulle, de Gaulle s'intéressait absolument pas à la condition des Français. Il paraît que, on m'a dit, qu'une des raisons de sa chute, c'est qu'il avait l'intention de de ça. Et que pour lui, ce mot qu'il avait lancé de participation n'était pas un mot vide de sens. Et c'est pour ça qu'il a été renversé par quelqu'un qui l'a remplacé, parce que ce quelqu'un était au service de la droite et des banques. Tandis que de Gaulle commençait à inquiéter les banques. Welcome to the Illumicorp video training course. I would like to officially welcome you as a member of the team. You've joined our organization at perhaps the most exciting point in all long history. Our founders shared a passion and dream to transform this country and eventually the whole world into one cohesive organization. When Illumicorp finishes gaining centralized control over the resources of the planet, and we will, We can then organize, distribute, and govern for the benefit of all. After competition and dissent are eliminated, we will build a utopia for the people of the world to share based on need and rejoice together in a harmonious new world. This presentation is designed to enlighten you about our organization's goals and achievements as your guide I will help to answer some basic questions you might have about Lincoln and familiarize you with the valuable role you will play in helping us reach our prime objective. So please, take a tour with me as we march together towards an exciting new world. 
all people are aware of class. To them, society is made up of the rich, the middle, and the poor. The one thing that all three classes don't understand is that the pyramid continues upward. There is a detached hidden capstone made up of an elite board of directors who own and manage Illumicorp. The three classes below, in essence, become the assets and resources of Illumicorp. Illumicorp is divided into various administrative branches, but each branch has the same five levels in their hierarchy. You will begin at the bottom, in the initiate category. As such, your role will be to make sure that your orders are carried out through the subcorporations and institutions controlled by Illumicorp. You will be placed in plain sight at the head of a company or institution in the public sector to carry out the plans delivered from above. Remember, your role is very important. You will be the face of Illumicorp to the outside world. You are our connection to the masses below. Never speak publicly about your orders or your masters. Now let's look at Illumicorp's six administrative branches and their functions. You will be placed in a top position of power among one of the following sectors. In this way, as you are monitored and guided from above, you will decide strategy and introduce programs that further our goals. For that is the secret to Illumicorp's success. Control the head, and you control the body. This is potentially Illumicorp's most effective instrument for global control. Through international banking, we manipulate the face of all countries. We have introduced many institutions, such as the IMF and WTO, that work in our favor to impoverish disobedient nations. Always remember, debt is a powerful weapon against countries that don't share Illumicorp's vision. Perhaps our greatest achievement in banking is the Federal Reserve System. It is a collection of international banks owned by Illumicorp members and financiers. It was created to form a centralized banking system through the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, an act that was indeed penned by some of our most esteemed members. Many of you might still assume that the government itself prints and issues the currency. That is not the case. When America needs money, they go to our boys and ask for it. The money is printed but it is only representative of a loan. Interest accrues on that dollar until it is paid back to the Fed. In fact, the federal taxes paid by the American population go almost entirely to paying off this debt. So you see, Illumicorp derives a healthy amount of its operation funding directly from the debt of the public. Needless to say, this is one of our most crucial sources of funding and one of our proudest achievements here at Illumicorp. Through mergers and acquisitions, we have slowly and silently bought up the majority of U.S. industry. Illumicorp and its members own most of the oil, transport, banking, media, food and communications industries in America and abroad. Through fewer and fewer conglomerates, we are able to affect with great precision the machinations of labor and government. Ultimately, corporations will replace government as a centralized international body that can meet the needs of the public worldwide without the chaos created by national self-interest. When Illumicorp goes public, corporatism will be the foundation for world government. Conglomerates will merge into one cohesive corporation that is responsible only to Illumicorp and the needs of its global employment force. Illumicorp's control of the American military is another impressive tool in our possession. We have nurtured these institutions lavishly to serve as the prototype for our global police force. When ready, our technology and manpower will dominate those who oppose the coming new world order. By utilizing American patriotism, we have fostered in the American soldier the philosophy of peace through superior force. When the time is right, we will migrate that mentality towards the belief in a global government who must protect all people superior force. We have used the American military industrial complex to build the arsenal necessary to instigate the final cleansing outlined in Illumicorp's great plan. Our primary target will be Islamic nations who will never submit to our Western-centric domination. They also hold much of the remaining oil reserve of the planet. Illumicorp must own that precious resource 
as it is crucial in maintaining our domination over the countries of the world. Through Lumacorp's enormous federal funding of the military, we can develop new forms of warfare and population reduction. The public can't imagine what we were in the process of developing. Soon, even the weather will be a weapon under our control. We will be able to create droughts, floods, hurricanes, and even tsunamis with no fingerprints attached. The political system of America has been under direct control of the Lunar Corp for some time. It was actually a relatively easy acquisition and has been even easier to manage. Politicians know of our unspoken agreement and will do anything to stay in power. A two-party system benefits the Lunar Corp in that it reduces all issues into a black and white debate. Through media we can play side against side using each where necessary to support our goals. Due to a diminishing faith in the system among the public, Illumicorp has designed a rogue candidate program to provide a voice for the dispossessed. This disperses the impetus for dissent among those who do not feel represented by our candidates and builds a database of potential dissidents. At the turn of the last century, Illumicorp took a serious interest in public education. Our Supreme Council realized that by creating a private organization to dictate curriculum on a federal level, children could be conditioned to obedience on a mass scale. In the interest of promoting Illumicore principles in the classroom, hundreds of millions of dollars were invested to create the General Education Board in 1902. The result of doing this is evident today. The doctrines of public education have transformed recent generations into a weaker, more docile mass. Through meticulously planned curriculum, we have control over the process by which the average child learns. Thus, we can mold them into obedient workers who are conditioned to accept the implementation of the great plan. In addition, Illumicorp has set up many associations, including the American Historical Association, that determine and uphold the official view of history. Knowledge is power, so we must at all costs be the authors of the truth. By writing history to suit our interests, dissenting voices cannot gain ground, and we can vastly influence culture to achieve our prime objective. Illumicorp uses the media to shape the public's opinion about current events and condition desired attitudes about our future agenda. Through news, entertainment, and advertising, we can program a variety of emotions and responses into the collective unconscious. In the past, we were limited entirely to print media, but now we have multiple mediums to utilize in programming and conditioning the masses. With cable news, we have directed the public to a more entertainment-based consumption of world events, infotainment. This medium is far more effective at subliminal reinforcement of desired attitudes towards our objectives. For instance, we are currently instilling a sense of duty towards environmental issues. With our growing control of the weather through harp and chemtrails, we will scare the public into accepting our global protection agendas. We will then phase into the great cleansing which must occur to return the global population to a manageable size. We reinforce the desired norm through advertising, creating a model for people to live up to that is virtually impossible. The result is an incomplete, desperate individual seeking acceptance. Through reality television game shows, we repeat the pattern of individual survival versus group survival. This breaks down the idea of community and breeds individuals who seek only their self-interest. With a public that is constantly suspicious and scheming, we maintain the status quo of a divided population that never thinks to look up. Religion has served its purpose incredibly well. It is the oldest and perhaps the broadest form of social control utilized by Illumicorp. With religion, there is a written code of conduct that must be followed. The authors of the Holy Scriptures knew quite well how to lace that code with commands to maintain their dominance over the population. This system has survived through millennia to hold the flock together and bring us to today. Admittedly, religion is losing its power for control. However, 
The fanaticism that has arisen due to this decline is particularly helpful to Lumicorp. Our invisible influence in the church has helped bring the Christian fundamentalists out of the background. We control their opinions on current issues through policies designed and written right here at Lumicorp headquarters. They are sent to our ministers, who then preach the word of God and their interpretations of the Bible to their followers. Their blind faith is used to transform them into willing soldiers to defend our cause during the catastrophes ahead. As the final phase is enacted, we will propagate end-time prophecy to convince them of their convictions. The rise of Islamic fundamentalism works to Lumicorp's advantage as a threat that will demand violent action. In the coming years, planned terrorist attacks will warrant a full-scale retaliation and initiate the final phase of the Great Plan. Christians will support our actions since they will believe them to be proof of the end times prophesied by Lumicorp's religious leaders. you have a basic understanding of how we work over here at Lumicorp. I would like to introduce you to one of our latest projects, the Control Grid. Since ancient times, it has been the desire of the Illumins to wield control of the masses below, both to protect us from them and them from themselves. The tools of the ages have been effective, but always blunt and inaccurate. But now, with the release of new technology to the masses, we have the real ability to implement a control grid with finance, industry, government, and military under our strict control. We can safely ship the population into a new world, monitored and controlled by Illumicorp. Technology such as the internet, GPS, and RFID chips are pillars of the invisible prison we are erecting around the people. Within the decade, we will have real ID cards that contain criminal records and pertinent information, all linked to federal databases. Cell phones will tell us where each individual is, linked to the same database. Through intelligence agencies and homeland security, we will monitor individuals who oppose the great plan and remove them from the grid. Quickly, the population will learn that they have a choice, support the system and benefit from its luxuries, or reject it lose access to the grid. Well, that was quite an overview. I hope it gave you an understanding of our process and basic overall structure here at Lumicorp. The dawn of a new era is on the horizon and it will shine gloriously over the new world that we have built together. Avez-vous jamais fait cette réflexion Laquelle C'est que s'il y a des gens qui cherchent à cacher quelque chose, il n'est pas possible que certains n'y soient pas parvenus. Et ceux-là sont les plus habiles, les plus intelligents, les plus forts. Et les plus dangereux. Bien sûr. C'est pourquoi il vaut mieux les laisser tranquilles. <rire> 